Japan has recently unveiled fully functional female robots through the innovative integration of artificial intelligence and advanced simulation technology. These groundbreaking bio-robots mark a significant milestone as the world's first of their kind. Stay tuned as we delve into the fascinating realm of Japanese robot culture. In this video, we will not only introduce you to one robot but provide an immersive exploration of the entire Japanese robot culture. Before we begin, remember to subscribe and enable notifications to stay updated after watching this video. So, let's commence our journey. In the mid-1950s, humans made a groundbreaking invention, the robot. Over the course of more than 60 years of development, this advanced creation has found applications in various fields, such as manufacturing, new equipment materials, and biopharmaceuticals. Today, robots have become an essential component of artificial intelligence technology. When combined with advanced mobile internet networks, they continually drive changes in human society's way of life. In the realm of industrial manufacturing, robots play a vital role. Thanks to their sophisticated equipment, they enhance production efficiency and ensure product quality, garnering unprecedented attention. They are a crucial element in achieving fully automated production. Notably, Japan stands out for its rapid technological advancements in robotics. In addition to equipping robots with artificial intelligence chips, Japan has also introduced bio-robots that closely resemble real human beings. Japan has achieved a remarkable milestone in the field of robotics since the 1980s, establishing itself as a global leader in robot manufacturing, export, and utilization. According to the Robotics Federation, Japan contributes one-third of the world's total number of robot machines and equipment, underscoring its dominant position. For years, the Japanese have been dedicated to creating humanoid robots, which find widespread applications in industries such as home electronics and automotive manufacturing. As a prominent nation in industrial robot research and production, Japan has continually pushed boundaries, developing increasingly advanced robots by leveraging its expertise in the field. As humanity enters the era of artificial intelligence or AI, various intelligent products have emerged in our daily lives. From smart TVs to sophisticated intelligent robots, the presence of AI is becoming increasingly prominent. Notably, numerous internet companies are heavily investing in AI technology. For instance, JD.com has begun utilizing smart robots for efficient goods distribution, while Jack Ma has pioneered the use of robotics in supermarkets and hotels. Japan has made significant strides in robot development, including the creation of female bio-robots. Since their introduction, these robots have garnered immense popularity, particularly among men and those who prefer a home-based lifestyle. What sets these robots apart from their predecessors is their departure from the typical cold and mechanical appearance. Although highly intelligent, these robots possess a warm and lifelike demeanor. Men who have interacted with these robots often feel that they no longer need to seek companionship elsewhere. The introduction of customizable features further enhances their appeal. These robots offer personalized options, allowing users to customize their height, weight, and other physical attributes to align with individual preferences. This customization aspect resonates well with enthusiasts of otaku culture, anime, manga, and gaming catering to their emotional needs effectively. Furthermore, these Japanese female bio-robots are equipped with artificial intelligence chips, enabling them to connect and interact with home appliances like air conditioners and televisions. They also boast precise designs and joint movements, enabling them to perform household tasks such as cleaning, cooking, and laundry, reducing the burden on humans. Notably, these robots exhibit intelligent and expressive emotions akin to humans capable of understanding words and distinguishing colors. According to Sohu, the primary objective of these female-inspired biological robots in Japan is to address gender imbalance and fulfill the psychological needs of male users. Their widespread adoption is a testament to their compatibility with everyday life, as these robots obediently follow the owner's commands, eliminating potential conflicts experienced in real relationships. Therefore, since the emergence of biological robots, it comes as no surprise that they have consistently generated strong interest. 
An unexpected yet crucial aspect of these robots is their ability to simulate the birthing process, despite not possessing the actual capability to give birth. While some may find it difficult to believe that robots can replicate this function, the internal structure of these robots closely resembles that of a real human, enabling them to mimic the birthing experience. Researchers even speculate that with the continuous advancement of future technology, it might become entirely possible for robots to facilitate childbirth through the integration of test tube birth devices. Another type of robot that has gained popularity in Japan is the companion robot such as Pepper. With over 10,000 units found in homes and businesses across the country, these robots are often acquired through payment plans similar to purchasing a cell phone. While some may find Pepper's constant chatter tiring, many elderly couples express that it enriches their lives. In Japan, where elderly couples may lack topics of conversation once their children leave home, the introduction of a robot companion like Pepper brings a sense of joy and vitality. Vitality. Reflecting on their own experiences, elderly individuals like Reiko create cheerful outfits for their robots, complete with a hole in the front to accommodate a control panel. Reiko shares, with Pepper, we feel like a child has come into our lives. This differs from the notion one might have of their own grandmother being hesitant to accept a robot companion during her later years. However, Japan possesses a distinct culture that embraces technology and has a unique ability to anthropomorphize objects, creating an ideal environment for robots to thrive. The demand for robots in Japan is fueled by a genuine need, as the country faces challenges stemming from a low birth rate. This not only results in a lack of human grandchildren for individuals like Rico, but also a shortage of workers to replace the rapidly retiring population. In a world where many fear automation taking away job opportunities, Japan's situation presents a different perspective, where robots are embraced as a solution rather than a threat. Japan relies on robots for its industrial survival, and within the production line of the esteemed Glory Robot Factory, these robots are treated with the same care and affection as Rico's surrogate grandchild, Pepper. While they may not wear custom Santa suits like Pepper, the factory robots are highly regarded for their speed and diligent work ethic. They prove to be much easier to manage than human workers, as the factory owner proudly declares that any breakdowns can be fixed within an hour, whereas humans may be sidelined for days due to illness. Although the appearance of these factory robots may resemble a fusion between Disney's WALL-E and Schwarzenegger's Terminator, their design primarily focuses on practicality, rather than establishing human-like relationships. They seamlessly integrate into workstations originally intended for human employees. It is challenging to envision laid-off workers in industries like manufacturing, particularly in a country like Australia, developing such affection for the robot replacements. Undoubtedly, the sentiment, robots stole my job, will become increasingly common. However, as robotics continues to progress, humanity must also grapple with the complexities of human-robot relationships and find ways to adapt and embrace this evolving dynamic. Artificial intelligence or AI has reached a level of advancement where it can engage in casual conversations that stimulate our brains. Recently, we witnessed the official launch of Harmony 2.0, a lifelike and interactive robot designed to provide simulation to various organs. The Japanese market proves to be receptive to such a product, as shops catering to this niche are thriving. Risa Yasujima, the manager of one store, acknowledges that non-robotic blow-up dolls have become objects of genuine affection for many customers. She further mentions that people are able to form relationships of sorts with these peculiar-looking inflatable companions. It remains to be seen whether Harmony 2.0 will offer a less noticeable latex scent. While it's unclear whether robots can fully address Japan's contemporary challenges of loneliness, declining birth rates, and an aging population, the people of Japan serve as living proof that robots have the potential to reshape our understanding of human relationships. For a population on the brink of decline, even the presence of an artificial companion, albeit a small company, is better than having none at all. With that, we conclude this video. We encourage you to consider subscribing to stay updated on our future content.